We are 20 days away from the draft. It's coming. Yeah. Um, what do you want to see your beloved New England Patriots do? I want to see a successful draft at number three. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want them to, to I don't, trade I wanna, down. You, no, it, I, I would like to – so I would like to see them – use that pick because they haven't been there in mm -hmm. how long and try to get who they feel is the best guy that's going to be here a long time. Now who, for me, what's your sense? Oh, for you. Well, I want to, yeah, who, yeah. who's your, for, for me as an outside linebacker. So now this is, this is where it gets tricky. I don't want a traditional statue quarterback. Okay. I don't Preach. want a traditional statue pocket guy. I don't want somebody that you can just, Dial up the blitzes, and you know he's going to be on the X. And when you get to the X, plays over. I've played against guys like that. I know how hard it is to get to a quarterback that can move the RPO and the check with me's and all those things now that are so hard to defend. That's what you want under center and in the gun. You want a guy who, when things break down, can cause make fits, something happen. Make something happen yeah. now. Daniels uh, and I was just in, I was just down in down in New Orleans. I asked every single person that I was around. That's mm -hmm. a big LSU fan. I said, "Do the Patriots take Daniels at three? They said, "Yes." Okay, take that guy at three. Speaking my language now. So I want Drake May. Isn't a statue. Okay, so I'm not saying that Drake May is a statue. Right. I, I, he's got a strong arm. He has the intangibles that look similar to. A Josh Allen body type, yep. right? My only concern is Daniels being what two ten? Yeah, he's light. He's light. So some guys that are built at around that weight, two ten, it only takes a guy. You know, they got all these rules in place. Don't drop weight. Well, you get sometimes you get the weight dropped on you, right? So the durability factor of can he go out there for seventeen games, take those hits, take those shots because it is a lot faster and there's more physical when you take that step up if you look at those two guys what style of offense do you want that's what you have to ask yourself what style do you want to see do you want to see a pocket style quarterback with all the check with me's and then commanding the offense and making all those decisions i personally as a defensive end outside linebacker who had to go against the cam newtons the guys that were mobile the mike vicks you know my rookie year going against mike vick those guys, you can't just pin your ears back because guess what? They're up and out, and they're out of the pocket. They're running for 20, 50, until they hit their head on the goalpost. Yeah. So what style of offense do you want? I like a style where the defense has to account for the quarterback every single play. What, what about then that's 11 on 11. It's not 10 on 11 football. What about taking a wide receiver, taking Marvin Harrison Jr.? At See, game? I don't – <laughs> Marvin Harrison Jr., yes, he's a a, tr a terrific, unbelievable receiver. And you would hope that he's a guy that would be here a very long time. But what's the most important position on the field? Yep. The guy under center taking the snaps. So if you have a definitive feeling about one of these three guys – but what if the feeling is what? Quarterback. But what if the feeling is what everybody says it is, or at least some around the league say it is, when it comes to Elliot Wolf, and his feeling is JJ McCarthy. So, watching a little bit of tape on JJ McCarthy, his style resembles more of that run the ball. Michigan wanted to run the football. They're mm -hmm. a, they're a run the football first team, mix in play action pass. I think we've seen a bit of that in the last couple of years, haven't right. we? Run the football first, play action right. pass. Um, so just, I'm not saying anything bad about McCarthy's style of play, but the way that he's built, I feel you have to have that run the ball first mentality until he develops more into your traditional pocket guy. Cause yep. he's not, you know, he's not a huge dude. He's yep. not going to run away from anybody. So unless you're an elite level speed wise and you can get away when you're young and you have that, that shiftiness and that speed, you can get yourself out of situations. And, you know, if I was if I was an OC coaching a guy like, you know, Daniels, that'd say, hey, man, if this ain't there, go use your speed. Go use yeah. your legs. And if you're a receiver, the second he breaks the pocket, uncover. Does Shime agree? Uh, on what, 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 on all of it.
On J.J. McCarthy? Are you well, speechless no, I mean, right now? You're speechless. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what she's asking me to agree on. He just talked about oh, three different we, We've heard about your mock draft. I just want to know your, where you match up with, with Nikovich. Well, yeah, I, I think... I I think he, he, Nick be is clearly higher on Jaden Daniels than I am. Uh, I I am much lower on Jaden Daniels, but I mean for the most part we agree. Sharp like just it. Sharp just said when is Stinkovich getting out? <laughs> right. of the yeah. That's not what I said at all. Uh, but, Nick, just a, a old school. I was going to do Belichick stuff. That's boring. You were on the field. You were the closest Patriot to Malcolm Butler when he picked off Russell Wilson. You had a phenomenal fourth quarter, by the way. Excellent. Um, and yeah, good. third and seven. Huge sack. Yep. And uh, you were great. Obviously, you were on the Patriots for your last game is the greatest game in Patriots history. Which was better, Super Bowl Forty Nine or Super Bowl Fifty One? Mm. Uh, for me, the first ring. So anytime you can get that that weight vest off you and and finally win a Super Bowl, that's the most memorable. And even though the last one that the last game that I ever played in was a Super mm. Bowl and it was the greatest comeback of all time. I didn't really love my performance in that game. Mm. So, and I was old. You know, I was 32 years old. I know that's not old, but I just felt that at that point, I was on the downward trend of my athletic abilities. <laughs> and, you know, the Seattle game to me was the most defensive. You know, we were in it together. We had a tremendous team that year as far as defense. And, you know, I, I just think back to, again, Bill coaching us that whole week and how Lynch was the key to that whole offense. And we had to make sure that everybody got to the football. And if you watch the first play of of the Seattle Super Bowl, the first play was a crack toss to me, right? So I got cracked and I had two guys on me and then Lynch bounced outside. It was like a two yard gain. There was a frenzy of Patriot hats get into the football and I'm talking every single guy jumped on top of Lynch on the first play I even slipped and fell and got up and just tried to jump on just to <laughs> add a JLP? on yeah that, just you know the, the, dropping the elbow that's the brilliance of Bill Belichick. but that's that's the thing that as a defensive guy and a player you look at the game planning and the way that we prepared for these games and how we defended that stuff and Malcolm intercepting the ball you know with Ernie having that play up in practice. Those are the things, the little things that separated us for so long. And it was having that group of guys that were able to do it. Well, I'm glad you came in. Um, you got an event Tuesday. Yes. So this is um, through Gronk. So me and Gronk are actually doing a pickleball event. And this is going to be um, for the Jimmy Fund. And it's Gronk's actual, his Gronk Youth Foundation and Dana Farber Cancer Institute with the Jimmy Fun. So we're going to be playing pickleball. Um, and if you want to check it out, you can go to charity.pledgeit.org. Charity.pledgeit.org. Yep. And that's where it's, you can see the it's other information. In Southie it's at happening PKL. in Southie at PKL. And it Great is, spot. It is, I play pickle, uh, pick, 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 pickleball pickle over there. Pick, 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 Peter Barber pickle, um, pickle, 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 pickle. Um, It's April 9th. <laughs> April 9th. Okay, so it's the 9th. It's from 6 to 9. Right. And Ninkovich is going to host it. So right. third person. Okay. So right. I'll be there. Uh, the Dan and Ninko show is going to be there. And are you announcing who your partner is? Um, <clears throat> pickleball wise, or is he, that a... he is a cousins with squirrel. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay. All right. So okay, all right. I don't want to let the cat out of the right. bag, but okay. you know, he's a yeah, former got... friend of mine, former, yeah. oh, former yeah. Greg Hill friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're blocked. Yeah, he's you're pretty blocked. furry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's <blocked>. okay. <laughs> for good reason. Okay. You did him dirty. Um, I did him dirty. Yeah, yeah. you played his voice memo. Nah, who cares? Tell him I said, What up, man? Uh, I text him, but he ain't get back to me. Another, another Patriots related event. Patrick Chung wasn't invited to. Patrick Chung will be there. Patrick Chung will be there. Patrick Chung will be there. So it's gonna be fun. So it'll be okay. me, Pat Chung, Gronkowski. Yeah. He brings the party. <laughs> he brings the party. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, right. Dan and Inko will be Excellent. there. Right. So How's the podcast going? Everything's pod good? is good. Dan and Inko, good. check it out. Okay. We do. Uh, you know, get any recommendations yeah. for a local brewery? We always love those. Um, okay. Good. Talking cars and sports. Right. So that's why All I right. heard you were blocked and unfollowed. <laughs> <laughs> There's no blocking. There's no blocking here. There's no right. block. You're the best. Have a great Thanks, week, guys. It's right. just having fun, guys. Yeah, it's fun, right? just have fun. We're Can we enjoy fun. ourselves? That's what we Can do we here. laugh and love? <laughs> laugh. <laughs> yeah. laugh and love. All right, that's Rob Ninkovich.